Hello, this is a really quick video to show you what it's like as a child or a parent logging into Seesaw from home. So I'm using a web browser here on a laptop. Um, you might want to use the Seesaw Class app if you have a tablet type device or a phone. I believe Apple, Android and Amazon type tablets will work with the Seesaw Class app and you need to go to I'm a student whether you are mum dad or whoever or the child logging in you go to I'm a student and you may have already signed into your school's dashboard for the website with sign in with Google so you can go in with a Google login here if your school has given your child a QR code for Seesaw there's a box here that you can click and then scan the QR code if you're on a device with a camera so that's quite convenient but I'm going to go in with sign in with Google which will just let me click through the child's name because I've already signed in with that and here I am now I've got activities over here and I've got the journal and every time something is placed in here you should get a little notification with these numbers up here and over here to tell you that something has happened so that's quite nice um, you'll see in here in the journal that the teacher has set a piece of maths homework for me to do here and if I click here I can see that there are two pages of this work for me to do and it's a PDF document so it means that if I go here to view original I'll actually be able to see the thing and if I was wanting to print it off and do it by hand then we could do that if I have a printer at home and I want to do that however if you go down here you'll see these three dots you've got copy and edit so if I go to copy and edit you'll see that I get the work you see I've got page one and page two here and I can have a go at completing this actually on the screen. So let's have a little go here. Let's hope we don't make any mistakes. And I'm doing this with a trackpad on a laptop, which is obviously isn't ideal if you were on a tablet and you had a stylus or something like that, or just a child's um, finger, then that may be better. Obviously good for children to have a variety of experiences, not always on screen, sometimes doing things on paper. Um, so I've started there to fill this in. You can see how that would go on page one and page two on this simple task. Um, and when I'm finished, I can actually add some extra little notes over here if I wanted to. So I could write something there for the teacher to see. You see that you can resize that and move that around if you want to. And you could add a little audio recording on there if you wanted. And if I go here and click the tick a couple of times, then that should go into what's called my journal. And you'll see up here it says waiting for teacher approval, which is great because it means anything any messages or any work that I post back to the teacher are flagged up and checked by the teacher before they go into the child's journal. You can see that's what I posted and that was the original task. You can see on the original task down here there was actually a little audio comment from the teacher for the child. Right, so if you have something posted to you here go down to the three dots and go to copy and edit and you'll be able to do that work back out of there over to activities now the activities are a little bit more involved um, you'll see there's some simple instructions here for me to follow if I go to add response here you'll see that I can start to complete this simple activity that's here there's a few that involve dragging and dropping things around. There might be some where the teacher's asked the child to write something for them. 
And so once you are happy with what you've done, once the child has completed the work, then the green tick up here again can be ticked and that will upload. And again, that's waiting for teacher approval. If I ever want to add any comments, you'll see down here, I can comment and write a note to the teacher. Okay, and you'll also see, again, there is a little audio recording button there. So if your child wants to actually speak uh, a comment to the teacher, then they can do that through there. Thank you very much. I hope it works for you and I hope your child has fun using Seesaw.